Hello everyone, my name is Tice RP and today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in a long time and that's do a fire alarm review. This will be a review of the Wheelock Eluxa EL3R HS-FR outdoor flush mount horn strobe. And it's LED, of course. The Eluxa series by Wheelock and Eaton is a line of horns, strobes, horn strobes, and other devices, and is a follow-up to the Exceder LED series. There are some improvements from the uh, LED Exceder series. The main thing is the Eluxa has mounting brackets, whereas you have to wire your uh, you have to wire directly to the device with the LED exceeder and here you wire to a mounting bracket like the uh, System Sensor Spectral Advance and L series. Um, it also has a broader selection of candela ratings. This one this one goes from 15 to 185. The LED exceeder series goes from either uh, 15 to 110 for the wall mounts or 15 to 95 for the ceiling mounts. Here I have the um, LED Exceder low frequency sounder strobe rebranded by Siemens. As you can see, this one does have a mounting plate, but you wire, again, you wire directly to the device. It only has this mounting plate to um, absorb the vibrations that the uh, 520 hertz tone this outputs makes. I think I think it looks pretty cool. Not my favorite sounding uh, low frequency sounder though, but eh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Also, it has this big, uh, big LED compare it to the multiple smaller ones on the Eluxa. This Eluxa in particular is an outdoor model. I rambled on so much about the Eluxa series, I forgot to mention specifically what this was. <laughs> this is an outdoor model, specifically is the NEMA 3R rated one. And it's meant to be mounted flush to a weatherproof surface like concrete, bricks, that kind of stuff. And uh, if we take a look at the back of it, it again has the mounting plate, like I said, and it has this uh, weatherproof spacer here. So it, so it uh, prevents moisture from getting to the uh, wire leads in here. So there, there. There's also a 4X rated version um, that comes with a back box that's meant to be surface mounted. That, that would be instead the EL4XHS-FR. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's pretty cool. The only problem I have with this is that there are sinking issues with these. I watched a video of um, one of these going out, one of these going off along with older ASWP Xenon horn strobes, and the horn on this thing was delayed, which is kind of a, kind of a pain, but I think it makes for a good collection piece. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and I don't have a Wheelock sync module at the moment, so I can't really use the sync anyways. But uh, I don't know, maybe that's just the copium talking. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, oh no, did Tice break the device already? You're probably not thinking, you're probably not thinking that, but uh, no, I <laughs> I didn't break the device. Um, if you can see here, these plastic pieces with the fire lettering are detachable. They can slide right in here. But what's cool about this device is if you flip it around, you get ceiling lettering. This 
device is wall and ceiling rated. So if you want to mount it wall or ceiling, you can either flip it here or flip it here. The pieces have to go on opposite sides. So if I use the ceiling lettering, I have to uh, place it right here. Wait, I got got the opposite side, but uh, and we have to you have to place it here like this. See? See, it almost looks like a ceiling mount ASWP like this, but uh, yeah, I think that's cool. Also, neat that it isn't fixed candela like some of the ASWP models, but uh. It even sounds a little bit like that. If you've heard the Eluxa go off, you'll know, well, you'll know that the indoor version sounds like a uh, weirder sounding Exceder or NS. This sounds like the AS equivalent of that. It has a higher, higher frequency than that. I think it sounds better like this as an uh, I think the tone of this sounds better than the tone of the indoor model, and I also think it looks better than the indoor model. I don't have the indoor model of the Eluxa. I don't even, I don't, actually, this is my only Eluxa device right now. I've got another LED exceeder here. I actually have two of these, uh, LSTR-NAs, I think that's the model, um, for uh, general signaling. You can't really, you can't use uh, amber lens strobes for uh, fire purposes. They have to be clear, or some some places like uh, in Massachusetts have red beacons or fire strobes with red lenses on the outside of buildings. But uh, normally for indoor applications, unless it's suppression or something, you can't use colored lens strobes for fire alarm purposes. It's just, you, you just can't. All right, now onto the fun part, testing the device. I currently have it set to 75 candela and low volume code three. It still is pretty loud, so I, su so I suggest you turn down your volume, and also do not watch beyond this point if you have epilepsy or any photosensitivity. Here we go. And part two is continuous. All right, that's gonna do it for my review of the Wheel Outdoor Eluxa horn strobe. Um, I don't think fire alarm reviews are going to be a regular thing anymore. I'm still into the hobby, just a little burnt out with this and also a little burnt out with music. So that's why I haven't been uploading as much. I mean, there's college, I'm on break now, but uh, college takes up a lot of my time and uh, I'm also away from home then, so. Yeah, there's that. Um, one thing I for, forgot to mention also is that there are uh, quite a few uh, replacement products for older Wheelock Xenon strobes in the Eluxa series. Recently, they came out with not only the weatherproof devices, but uh, other than the horn strobes, speaker strobes, and LED, and uh, I mean, low frequency sounders. 
There are multi-tone horn strobes that sound just like the MT, but I think those can sync, the horns can sync into the, the old Xenon MT. And also there is a uh, chime strobe. There's a, There are chimes in the Alexa line that look just like the uh, speakers and low frequency sounders. And the multi-tones also look just like the uh, speaker speakers and speaker strobes. But anyway, um, um, I think this is a pretty neat device. It, I think it's a good collection piece, but the sync problems is uh, the sync problems are are a serious thing going against it. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this review. My name is Tice Arby. Please like, comment, and subscribe.